guys, welcome back to my channel. Here is a we're doing a review on the Nerf Rival Finisher. This came out last year. It is a mag fed seven round or eight round holding pistol. Now, let's get into it. Alright, so the key feature obviously of the finisher is that it has an eight round magazine, which sucks because it doesn't it's not compatible with other like it's with other rival mags or other rival guns so i have an apollo magazine somewhere around here yeah this one it's not compatible it's not the same like it looks the same but one of them holds more so one of them has a more tension on the spring obviously this but and this one fits in your guns this one does not which sucks it, has, it can hold another round but it's that's not too much. That's not really too much to cry about. But to the core to the core blaster, it's basically pull back like this. So the orange piece sticks out. Push it forward. Another thing that is kind of weird about this gun is that I don't really like it that much because it's so difficult to holster. Because when you put the magazine in like this Put the magazine in you know you try to fit this in your holster you try to put it in and the magazine just gets in the way unless you want to have an unless you have an extra carrier for your mag now down to here this is the safety you push it down can't put can't fire up you can this is the unjamming button right here say you've pushed you pull this back and then you didn't pull it back all the way so then you try to push it forward but then it seizes which is a big problem with it that's the same thing that happens with the roundhouse and then you pull this down if you don't try to push it forward you can pull this down and then after let's just say after you've primed it forward you can pull this down and you can shotgun load it like that um i think it's kind of cool that this little piece sticks out when it's when you're loading it that's pretty cool to me but this kind of has like a targeting a target pistol kind of grip on it or not grip it has a kind of target pistol kind of trigger on it and the the grip on it is, it's okay, I guess. It's just a bit skinny, you know. It's just really skinny on it. But this is also the priming indicator back here. Um, I think the paint job doesn't look terrible. I like how they put these little details here. And that's kind of cool. Um, but, because this obviously, this is kind of like, this is kind of like, the ugly duckling of pistols in the rival line. I mean, it works. It's just not as convenient as the Kronos is. So, yeah, I think that covers everything. Thanks for watching.